If I told you that this Dell Inspiron 530 was running Windows 11, you probably wouldn't believe me. But it is, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Now the Dell that we're going to be using for this installation is a uh, Dell Inspiron 530. It's got an Intel Core 2 Quad Q6600, which is a 4-core, four 4-thread four CPU that runs at 2.4 gigahertz. It's got uh, 4 gigabytes of DDR2 memory in quad channel mode. It's got a 60 gigabyte SSD and 800 gigabytes of hard drive space and it is rocking integrated uh, graphics off of the CPU and has no dedicated GPU whatsoever. So not a very powerful uh, PC, but that's okay. We should still be able to install Windows 11 on it. So I've got the desktop all hooked up to a monitor here so that I can uh, show you exactly how to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. So the first thing you want to go to is this GitHub file. Uh, called Bypass 11. I'll leave a link for all this stuff down in the description below so you guys can easily find it for yourself. So what you want to click on is the Bypass 11 right here. And then the file we want is skip tpm check on dynamic update.cmd. So just click on that. And then go over to the right here and click copy raw contents. Then we can go to our search bar and search for notepad. And you can just paste the code into the notepad here and then click on File, Save As, and under Save As Type, select All Files, and then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to call it Windows 11 Bypass, but make sure, whatever you call it, put .cmd at the end of it. And then I'm going to save this to my desktop just so that I can find it easily. You can then exit out of the notepad. Then we want to go to Windows, oops, Windows 11 download and make sure you click on the link that says microsoft.com don't download windows from uh, any sketchy website or anything like that um, and what you want is the create windows 11 installation media so click the download now button underneath that and it should start downloading uh, if you're using google chrome this little pop-up will be in the bottom left i'm using microsoft edge because for some reason google chrome isn't working on this desktop right now super weird not sure what's going on there. So you should get this uh, window that says getting a few things ready. And then here you can just use uh, use the recommended options for this PC. That's totally fine. And here, so technically you can install this onto a USB flash drive and then plug the USB flash drive into the same computer and install it off of that. But what's easier is just uh, selecting the ISO file and then clicking next. This uh, will allow it to download directly onto your PC, so I'm going to download this onto the desktop as well. So then it should end up doing this where it is actually downloading the Windows 11 installer on your PC. Okay, so now once you get to uh, this menu right here, you can just click the finish button and it's just going to clean up all the file installation files that it doesn't need anymore. So now you can exit out of Google Chrome or whatever web browser you're using. And uh, here is our two files here. So what you want to do is click on the um, Windows 11 bypass file that we uh, downloaded and just click yes when it uh, pulls up the Windows Command Center prompt. And it should, uh, you can either press a key to continue or it will after a few seconds. So now that's running. Now we can click on our Windows installation tool and we're just going to click on the setup here. Click yes. Unfortunately, the uh, screen recording software uh, doesn't show the uh, prompts, those two prompts for um, like Windows permissions or whatever, just for like security reasons. So just click yes on both of those and it should be, uh, begin to install Windows 11. And we can choose what we want to keep from Windows 10. So you can either keep file settings and app, keep personal files, or completely do a fresh install. I'm going to uh, have the first option, keep file settings and apps and then just click next. So once you get to this point, it says ready to install. So um, you can change what you want to keep. You have one more chance to do that. Uh, but I'm just going to click install. And from here, Windows 11 will begin installing on your PC.
All right, so here it is. We've got Windows 11 installed on this old Dell. Uh, if we go to Task Manager, we can see we have Windows 11 running on Intel Core 2 Quad Q6600, 4 gigabytes of DDR2, and I have an Intel or an AMD Intel. I don't know where that's coming from. An AMD uh, Radeon, uh, some old graphics card with like 512 megabytes of video memory. So very low end specs, and as you can see, we've got the full Windows 11 running on here. Um, it's running normally. Uh, the CPU usage is actually a lot lower uh, on here, which is what surprised me. Um, well, there it's at 90, high 90s. Um, in Windows 10, uh, this would be pegged at 100% the entire time. Um, and we have OBS running and everything, and it's running at about 40 uh, 50% uh, usage, which is really impressive and just really shows how much uh, more optimized Windows 11 is than Windows 10. So. so guys, that is how you install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. I hope this helped you guys out if you have an older computer and you wanted to run the latest version of Windows. And if you have any questions about the process of doing this, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible on that. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.